I want to talk to you guys about Proverbs 2 today. That's the uh, the book and chapter that stood out to me today on, on April 2nd was Proverbs 2. And really, it's, it's all about wisdom. It's about uh, asking for godly wisdom, seeking godly wisdom. What does that look like? And I, I think a lot about human wisdom versus uh, godly wisdom. And I and I, I think to myself, you know, how often do I operate or function in in human wisdom and, and not even realize that I'm doing that? And how often am I uh, asking for godly wisdom in situations and circumstances? And, um, you know, like every day, what are, you, what are your marching orders? What is the Lord uh, giving you? What is he telling you? Um, what do you hear from him every day? And, and, uh, just seek that, seek the Lord seeking that wisdom. And, um, I want one quick story for you. I have a friend of mine. This happened a couple of days ago, actually. He's a teacher friend of mine. So he's, uh, he's at home and, uh, he lives near the beach. And so he said, he posted something, uh, maybe on Facebook or something. And he, he had said that, um, he had gone for a run that day and he put his hat and his sunglasses and his shirt and his keys, uh, in his hat and left it in the beach and the sand and he took off for a run and when he came back he grabbed his stuff and started walking back to his house and he realized that he didn't have his keys and so he uh, ends up going back trying to look for his keys and can't can't find them and luckily he was able to still get into his place but um, he just looked for a long time and couldn't figure out where they were and just man must be lost and so he decided to go back a couple of days later just he's kind of in that same area where he tends to walk and and run and so he went back and as he was walking over there there's two young young college age uh guys were hanging out and he starts kind of looking they were asking him what he was doing he said well i'm looking for some keys i, I lost them a couple of days ago i don't know where they're at i just thought i would look again and they asked, well, can we help you? And he said, oh man, that would be great. And so they get ready to start looking for keys. And one of the, one of the college age guys says to him and he says, Hey, um, before we start looking, can we pray? And a friend of mine, who's a, who's a believer, he was just like, how cool is that, that I'm on the beach and we're looking for keys, and someone would stop to pray. Here I was a little frantic and trying to think, how can I find these keys? How can I do this the way I think is best? And this kid stops and says, let's pray. And so we literally stopped. He said they literally stopped and they prayed and um, they got done praying and they start looking for the keys. And of course, what happens? They find the keys. And he was just like, it was such a good reminder to just stop and ask the Lord um, for wisdom, ask the Lord for insight and and he'll, he'll give it to you. And so uh, I thought that was a pretty cool story that um, uh, the Lord shared uh with him and just was there with him and it just showed him like, Hey, seek, seek me, seek my wisdom and I'll, and I'll show you. And, um, the other thing that stood out to me and, and this was the second verse about turning your ear toward, toward, uh, to wisdom and applying it. So that, that turning that ear, like I, I think of that, like I have to listen attentively. It requires me to do something. It doesn't just happen. It, it's a, it is a thing of listening and it, it, it implies really, it implies being attentive, listening, really focusing in on what somebody is is saying, and um, so when I think of wisdom, listening being one of those key things, as even my friend's story, he they stopped to listen, and um, and so that listening piece for me, I don't know if you've ever talked with people who you can tell are really they're really engaged, they really make you feel like you're important because they're really attentive and they're really listening, and that's what the Lord's asking us to do. He's asking us to really be attentive and listen to what His Word says and what He's what Holy Spirit is telling us. Like He wants us to to press in and to listen to what He has to say. So um, that's my my devotion for the day. Love you guys, miss you guys, and um, hope you have a great day. Let me pray, Lord. Just uh, thank you. Um, for who you are and your word and just that we can spend time together in it. Just bless people today. Be with them today. Help us to stop and to seek wisdom and to just, uh, just seek the things that you have for us. Father, we praise you. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. Don't forget guys, click on that link below for more information.